Hello guys, this is Pedram Raufi and you are watching the intraday trading view of the markets. Today we are going to go through the stock market, uh, forex market and as well uh, through the crypto market and cr different cryptocurrencies which we have. So uh, don't forget to uh, watch this video till the end. Uh, we are going to find some signals for intraday traders and as well we are going to look what happened from previous time when we talked and what is going on on the markets nowadays. Uh, as you heard about uh, the most important things that happened during this week and last week on the market, uh, we really, all the investors maybe, uh, was waiting for the Fed uh, meeting yesterday. And uh, as we already told you, because of the uh, policy which is working nowadays in the United States, which is kind of liberal, which is kind of democratic, it's not, uh, the, actually, we don't have uh, such a tightening of, pol of monetary policy. Because of that, uh, we were actually thinking that maybe uh, this Fed meeting, during this Fed, Fed's meeting, it won't be any uh, signals of the uh, policy tightening. Uh, of the monetary policy tightening and as we saw it wasn't any of that uh, so fed is going to continue to buy commodity it's going to come it's going to continue to uh, buy assets and uh, sell dollar and because of that the stock market uh, which started its own uh, strengthening it's continue to get more uh, strengthened above the local resistance from Dow Jones to S&P 500 all of these indexes are kind of strengthening further so this situation has kind of changed and uh, as we already see have seen uh, the pessimism didn't work and the most uh, optimistic fact is that uh, the policy of United States uh, Central Bank, Fed Reserve, it won't be hawkish so soon as the resources are uh, promising us, as the, uh, some analysts are promising us. Uh, the most important thing that we have to pay attention on that the correction of stock market will come, but it won't be so soon. It will be at the end of this month. But if Federal Reserve System start to uh, approve more stimulus there won't be any chance of a big correctional movements and of course dollar prices could really be under the pressure as we see and as we talked about dollar previously the retest of very important uh, resistance of 93 of 93 uh, it caused a consolidation it caused um, widening formation this formation which we have here is uh, actually a formation which shows you that the volatility it's getting wider and wider and mostly this kind of formations uh, tell us that maybe we have a correction on the market so about the US dollar and about the movement and the potential of the further rise we cannot see anything uh, really uh, surely and uh, mostly the situation is here on the four hour chart showing us that maybe the maximums are getting lower and lower and the retest of a very important uh, very important uh, resistance of 92 have been uh, finished by the next reverse reversal which could really continue in the future as well um, as you knew as you knew uh, before that we talked about the reason of uh, the previous uh, fall of stock market which was related to the um, bankruptcy of one of very important uh, development uh, companies in China which name is Evergrande and um, Previously, they just very recently, I think yesterday, they just uh, said that they are going to return the money back because they have very big debt and because of them, they, can't, they kind of can cause 
the real big uh, corrections on the Chinese stock market. But as we said, the optimism is that China won't get anyone or any company to do what it wants to do or happen what it's going to happen. Because China is kind of uh, make a real, real serious pressure on the tech sector, on the technological sector of the China. And uh, now this company and uh, recession, recession that would come after the bankruptcy of, of this company is very serious. So it's actually kind of getting solved. This problem is con kind of getting uh, solved nowadays. And as we see, the optimism is still even on the Chinese uh, stock market, as you see on the Shanghai Composite and on uh, A600 and on A500, they're all kind of getting strengthened again. So they are not that weak. They're kind of getting reversed from the local supports. Uh, but this situation would be really correctional or it would be a uh, really uh, short term. Uh, it would really be a short term rising. So don't think that that's a signal for buying in the long term. Uh, we're going to start our Forex uh, pairs uh, analysis. And as we see a Euro, Pound, Australian Dollar and New Zealand Dollar, uh, all of them uh, have been rise to the locals, uh, to the local uh, resistance but after that they didn't rise so much dollar was really powerful previously but now it looks like that maybe it could really make some reversal movements uh, there's a one problem here on the euro and pound and Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar charts that all of them have a really impulsive return from the bottom of the market and this impulsive return could really won't let the prices to move further upward in the near future. So because of that, we could we really need to wait for the retest uh, of the local resistance a little bit. Uh, 1.7044 uh, euro, uh, 1.33, uh, 36.74 pound. For Australian for Australia, uh, dollar, uh, 0.7280, and for New Zealand dollar, 0.7040. Uh, they are all the important um, resistance levels, uh, which have to be retested before we make any decision. If they get retested impulsively, it could mean that next we're gonna, we, got, we are going to have some reversal, at least uh, to the to the middle of the previous impulse. And that's a technical factor. And if they get strength again around the middle of the previous impulse, it would be a really good sign of the next rising. Um, the commodity or the risk assets uh, are the assets like gold, like silver, uh, all of the metals which are precious and uh, of course some of the pairs like uh, euro, franc, Swiss franc, dollar, Swiss franc or dollar, uh, Japanese yen, all of them are the risk assets, uh, kind of commodities uh, which get really rise, get rise in price when something bad is going on in markets. As you already know, the vaccination progress is continuing. Uh, we are really near, really near to the next quarantine, to quarantine or maybe to the next uh, lockdowns. We are really near to them. But uh, they would happen maybe within a within month, not sooner. So commodity, for now, it would be under pressure. But uh, the situation here, it looks, for gold prices, it looks that it really could get higher or start another uh, rising wave or upward movement after it retests the uh, local supports. So it means that all the commodities and like gold, like risk assets, like silver and the other precious metals are kind of just get stopped and they are kind of just get stopped around the local uh, 
supports and in the midterm future they can really start the rising especially when the winters come uh, so for gold because of this uh, movement which you have here we have a really impulsive retest of a local uh, resistance here for gold and for silver as well we have a real impulsive retest of this uh, resistance and as you know, this resistance is already broken downward and we are under this resistance and we are, ret and we are retesting it impulsively. So it's a really good sign of the next reversal down. So you have to be ready for reversal down for gold and silver prices and for platinum prices, uh, which is very important as well. It has been returned from 900. We, have, we actually told you that the price of platinum is going to go to retest 900 level and after that it could really reverse and as we see it reversed it retested the 900 next it reversed and now it's kind of retesting the local resistance very impulsively even due to these candles even due to these candles it's kind of, kind of very impulsively this rising could continue but it could really finish after the retest of these two um, of these two uh, levels and the most important thing is that here really near to the price movement we have the um, we have the psychological level of thousand dollars so do we have a re could we have a reversal next really we, we could we can it means if the prices get under 1000 it would be a real reversal uh, point at least to the middle of previous impulse to 950 or 60 um, euro franc uh, dollar franc and dollar uh, japanese yen uh, look kind of bullish but you have to be careful about dollar uh, yen which is getting really near and it's retesting the psychological level and uh, a local resistance so i don't think that the next um, impulse up, upward impulse of this pair could really continue till the target levels which you need so i think for dollar yen we could really close your uh, positions of buying about about uh, 110 20 or somewhere there uh, but about United States dollar two franc and uh, euro uh, franc, we uh, got a real good potential of next upward movement. We had retested really impulsively the local um, supports in euro franc and in the chart of dollar franc. We are really impulsively retesting the local support, which is a kind of a mirror level as well for the United States dollar two. Swedish franc, this level is actually mirror level. And uh, the euro uh, franc here is, uh, is it mirror level? The, actually, this range is mirror range. 1.080, 1.082 is a real mirror range, which could get retested. And here, as you see, we have a widening formation, which is the reversal signal upward. So, situation here could really change in the near future. Um, WTI prices, as we said, it really gets strengthened above $70. But you have to really be careful about most of the, the market's uh, price movements uh, previously. Because on the different sectors uh, of the market, on the stock market, uh, on the other sectors uh, of the market as well, the cryptocurrency market, most of the whales, most of the uh, big players are really into closing and fixing the positions, closing the positions so they could get the money uh, and get the profit. Uh, and the concentration on this fact really make us to close as fast as they close the positions. We are talking about the bullish positions, about the... Um, on the stock market, for example, nowadays we have a real good hype 
on the tech uh, on the technological sect, uh, sector of the market and on the uh, pharmacy uh, part on the pharmacy companies which are related to pharmacy they are really rising they have really good uh, upward movements previously and uh, most of the big players are nowadays are concentrated to just fix and uh, take the money so they could take the profit and just close the bullish positions close the buy positions so you have to be careful as well because the oil prices it looks like it really get uh, in the middle in the middle uh, term in the mid term it really could really get near to 73 or maybe 7350 but after the impulsive retest of 70, 74 it could really reverse and most of the times when you are getting above a local or a historical resistance we have to pay attention uh, do the candle size getting little by the time if the candles or bar size are getting little by the time after we get above the local resistance or the historical uh, resistance it would mean that the amplitude is really losing and the energy of the of the of the market energy is getting loose it means that the um, the activity of the market is losing so it would be a reversal signal as well uh, United States dollar to Canadian dollar is getting near to the local support as you know the oil prices are related yeah they have a um, straight correlation with the Canadian dollar price so when oil is rising the, don the, the, the Canadian dollar price is rising as well which cause a downward movement in the United States dollar to Canadian dollar pair and as you see it's getting near to the local support of 1.26 1.2640 after this retest maybe we could get a reversal movement it all depends on the next oil market reversal or the next strengthening of the dollar which we are not really waiting for it because Fed policy is about to make dollar weaker maybe during this month but after the next month after the end of this month maybe they would change the policy thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe on our channel we have different type of videos we have different type of online maybe uh, videos that could really help you for trading during the day for day traders and uh, don't forget to ring the bell so you would know when these videos and online videos start uh, thank you again until next time guys bye bye have a good trade